that tragedy in your life, that problem in your life, you thought it was a tragedy. You thought it was by accident. It might have been sent by God. Because you see, your body is not so important as your soul or your spirit. Your body is temporary. It's going to go to the grave, but your soul, your spirit will live on forever. And God is interested in saving your spirit. And sometimes He allows your body to suffer in order to bring your spirit to Himself. You see, the Apostle Paul cried out three times, Lord, deliver me. God said, no, Paul, but I'll show you what my grace can do. How many of you have problems and tragedy and disappointment in your life? Maybe God sent it like he sent this wind to blow up the storm, to wake you up, to cause you to repent of your sins and turn to God while there's time. Lord Jesus Christ in healing, has he come into your heart to heal your hurt? The hurt between you and your wife? The hurt between you and your son? The hurt between you and your brother? The hurt between you and your neighbor? The hurt of poverty out of a job? the hurt of bad health, whatever it is, let Jesus touch you tonight. He loves you. He wants to help. But he can't help if you keep the door closed. You have to open the door. You see, he's standing there knocking with his hand. Many minds here tonight are filled with pride and anger and envy, jealousy, lust. The remedy is to let Christ take control of the mind and bring every thought into his captivity. Paul taught, we have the mind of Christ and exhorted, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy mind. Evil thoughts are the suicide of the soul. The Bible speaks of those who have hostile minds, minds that are blinded, reprobate minds, doubtful minds, carnally minded or shaken in mind, or troubled in mind, or double-minded man. Some have blown their minds on drugs.